All right, I am back to talk about Halo Episode 6. I know you guys miss me. It's only been 24 hours since my Moon Knight review. Uh, last week, Episode 5 of Halo called The Reckoning had a badass 20 minutes of action. I loved it. thought it was fantastic. Highly recommend it. Just go and watch that 20 minutes at the end of the episode called Reckoning. This week, uh, it's Episode 6. It's called Solace. There's no action. More importantly, there's no butt cheeks. All right, so episode six, we're seeing the aftermath of the battle that we got last week. Kai is badly hurt. Maquis has been taken into custody. We see a shot back at the reach of the UN. They're carrying their dead. They're carrying their wounded. It's a nice wide shot. I really like it. Beautiful looking shot. Master Chief is very suspicious of Halsey and Cortana. So he locks Halsey in her lab and starts to flood it with radiation only to pull Halsey out at the last second. He did that to test Cortana. Cortana can shut him down, but did Cortana have the ability to like override and force him to do things like let Halsey out? And apparently Cortana does not have that ability and Master Chief wanted to know her limits. Pretty intense. Things are getting pretty intense in Halo World. I do like it. I like the interactions between all these characters. Things are getting very interesting and the acting is strong. All right, we have some more interesting scenes here. So John talks to Maquis. I like this scene because they're both trying to get information off each other. Uh, so they're, they're very subtle in how they're handling each other. And Maquis explains to Master Chief that we are special. We are the blessed ones. There's something about us and these artifacts. But John, you know, John's still not going to trust her. Then we cut to Halsey being interrogated or being deposed in some judicial uh, court martial, perhaps, proceeding. And I like how we have this sort of technology where we have Daddy Keys and Admiral Margaret sitting in these chairs uh, and they can be in the room, but not physically in the room to eavesdrop. And of course, we have Miranda Keys, who's Halsey's daughter, uh, and Daddy Keys' daughter, who also enters the that room so she can sort of be in the Halsey interrogation, but not seen. Anyway, I don't know. I like the technology. I like I like that creativity there. So as that's going on, Master Chief just barges in, and uh, he demands answers from Halsey, and Halsey admits the Master Chief, that she did kidnap him, take him away from his family as a child, and left behind a clone, a clone that was designed to die shortly thereafter. Uh, so Master Chief's parents never knew of the kidnapping and grieved the death of a mutant clone that was designed to die. So Halsey looking really, really, really bad here. Halsey tells Master Chief, you're special. Together we can unlock the mystery of the halo. And Master Chief says, that's great, but I'm going to do this alone. All right, all the drama continues. This family drama is unfolding. So Margaret, Admiral Margaret, uh, basically banishes Halsey uh, from the halo program. And is going to send her to some lab on some moon. And... Uh, she gives the Spartan program to her daughter, Miranda Keys, to like take over. So Miranda visits her mom before her mom is going to leave. And they sort of have a, what looks at first like some heart to heart uh, conversation. But after Miranda leaves, we see that Halsey takes these like contact lenses out of her eye. They're like they look like the Batman contact lenses. So maybe something similar is going there that was in the Batman movie. So uh, Halsey is still up to shenanigans with her daughter just when you thought she was becoming a little more human and uh, relatable. The show sort of ends where Maquis and Master Chief are talking again and Maquis is like, listen, take me to the artifact that you have here. Let me touch it and I can find uh, the artifact that the Covenant ran off with. And Master Chief is like, yeah, we're not going to do that, no. But Master Chief goes in and this time he's going to give the, their artifact another touch and he's really going to push it this time. So there's a lot of tension. His heart rate goes up. You know, veins are popping. I mean, the actor's doing a really good job. And in the next couple rooms, Maquis senses this and is having a seizure. And she's on the ground. Uh, she was getting a little feisty. She had her little finger blade. And she was going to kill that nurse. But she got the seizure before that and fell to the floor. And uh, almost after killing Master Chief, uh, his biometrics settle and they match Maquis' biometrics. So they level out and they sort of like become one or stabilize together. And then we see Master Chief on a very peaceful looking planet, nice green and lush. 
uh, and Maquis is there with them. So it's like a vision that they're in, a, a, a dream or a vision. And the camera pans up, and there is the halo array above them. All right, so again, we have uh, no action. We have a lot of drama. We have uh, some characters that have some maybe backstabbing going on. I like it. I like it. I think the characters are all kind of finding their places. Things are kind of fitting in nicely. I think the actors are doing a very fine job. I really do like the actor who's playing John. It might not be the video game thing, but I'm kind of over that. And I do like uh, what this actor's bringing to the character. So no action, no butt cheeks this week. Kind of disappointed about that. Good drama. I'm very, very interested in where this is going. Um, I'm looking forward to the potential finale of this season because now that we have the Halo array uh, in sight and perhaps now our characters know where to go to find it, I wonder if we're going to see the flood. I would love to see the flood. All right, well, let me know. I, I recommend this series. I do. Of all the series I'm watching, Picard, whew, I don't know, man. That one is slowed down. I got to watch that, the latest episode today. And you know I think Moon Knight is god-awful. Of the three, I am still enjoying Halo, so I do recommend it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I appreciate, I appreciate you stopping by. Whether you agree with me or you disagree with me, all opinions are welcome. All right, everybody have a great day, a great week. I will see you soon. And as always, I will see you on the new.